Trong Vietnam is it Europe is it Asia what is it it's pretty dang cool to be honest with you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up with a preview I'm gonna play some music and then you can kind of see some of the best visuals of it and then I'm going to do a walk and talk and I have a lot to share with you because this is a really big area um, and I'm gonna show you on the map so this is where it's at you can see it's like the northern part of Viet of um, Foucault Island of Vietnam and um, the walk and talk will kind of explain a lot more. So um, check out the music, the preview, and then walk and talk. The trong. Okay, so we are at another place that looks kind of European. This is called Vinworld Grand World Foucault. And we're gonna walk around here and kind of check it all out and see what it's... First, we're gonna start by going around this lake a little bit. And then we're gonna see I think the main spot is all the way down that way. So we're gonna be walking down that way as well. So there's like a little town clock right there as well. And what we're gonna do, I guess we're gonna go around the lake. So let's let's go down this way first. And we'll just kind of follow this lake all the way down and you can see all these colorful buildings everywhere. So yeah, this is, um, and I'll let you know there's also a free bus that comes throughout the whole, throughout most of the island and drops people off here, which is, goes to the airport and goes through most of the hotels. Anyways, let's get closer. Huh, there's even a gondola out there in the water. And this is a little bit up closer to our buildings. It looks like they have windows on both sides. Kind of like a narrow, I'm gonna kinda try to figure this out myself here. So there's these little windows, big windows. And it looks like you can come on either side. So yeah. So this is what we're gonna try to figure this all out in time. So stay tuned. Let's go around that corner and see. It's so kind of cool. Got these little narrow buildings, and they have windows on both sides and up above as well. And if you saw my other video, which I'll connect at the bottom, you can see another part of Foucault where there's another village like this at the far southern end. This looks like it has more people, and I think mostly because of those buses. I like how they have windows on both sides like this too. 
and more of the businesses seem occupied and busier. Huh. This one even has Mexican food, quesadillas. Huh. Hey, it looks like we got a bridge over there too. And we got gondolas. It's like something from Venice. Venetian. And there's more over there. Huh. Water taxi. Let's jump in. I've been seeing this theme throughout Fuquo as well. The other area had it too. Kind of artwork from Europe from back in the day. More artwork and you got some music as well. I guess we're gonna get a good view from up there. So it looks like we got a couple canals, a couple bridges. And they all said it in English. So there's more bridges over there and more gondolas. More statues. And we started out over there, which I don't even know if that's the centerpiece. I look on the map, this whole area looks kind of large. Okay. I wonder how this looks at nighttime. Got a nice building right there. That's kind of cool here. They got all the tables all set up as well. And the colorful buildings, of course. Hello. Hello. This is pretty cool. <laughs> So yeah, I don't even know if this is the centerpiece. It is kind of cool. These, I, we're gonna get a lot of these guys, so everybody's gonna say hello and try to go make me do something. But hello, how are you? I'm very good. So, but yeah, that's the theme. I noticed that in other spots too. So the tourism ministry, they'll send people out of all the businesses, and they'll come out and try to. Uh, this would be kind of cool right here because we're going to get two of these. Yeah, actually that does look kind of cool. Very nice. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of a, a turn. We got these guys that are all dressed up. I think this is also a fast food restaurant as well. So we got the Grand World over there. Here's some more. And this is called Loteria, which is the fast food chain out of uh, Japan, and they got them in Korea too. So, Hello, how are you? <laughs> so we're going to keep on walking all the way down and um, kind of see where this all goes. I think there's going to be one big main center, but I'm not sure where it is. Maybe that was already it. But I think on the map it looks like there's a bigger spot straight ahead. Got more lights on lit up over here. Lots of spas. So the other one I looked at, um, a lot of people ride motorcycles on the sidewalk too. But the other one I looked at um, didn't have as many people. Hello, how are you? Thank you. So yeah, um, so we're gonna all that's kind of lit up that way. So we're gonna walk down that way and see. 
so this one I can't I can't help but compare it to the other one that I just filmed so I don't know maybe the other one comes out more in the evening maybe this was empty in the daytime I don't know the other one was kind of empty but this one seems like there's a lot more businesses everywhere a lot more occupancy plus the buses bring everybody here too so Got lots of places to eat outside. Cares. We are way in the distance over there. I feel like this street is just gonna be like this. So I feel like it's gonna be more interesting if I go back to where the gondola is at and I go across. Then now that I'm over on this side, it's like pretty with the water like that. Okay, so we're gonna keep on walking down. And we'll just see what all we can see here. Oh my God. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. European statues. I don't know how, if these things are free. Just for the area. I don't know how that works exactly. I like how these buildings are quite narrow so you can they have access to both sides. And we're back. We basically went around the lake and now we're gonna go down and see what other kind of stuff we can see around here. I do you like these colors though? So I might have missed something but I kind of feel like so this is basically gondolas in the lake with all these beautiful colorful buildings and businesses that go around it. And I think that this keeps on going down that way, down that yellow gate. And there's also a street over here too. So I think what I'm gonna do is walk over to that yellow gate and go down that main street. Draft beer. And this is this gate. There's crazy crabs over there. And then this is the gate, uh, says Indochina. And we'll see what this is. It looks like it's gonna be a food street. But we'll definitely take a look. Indochine Grand World. And it looks like they're getting us set up for the evening, so. So yeah, this says Night Market and they're all getting set up. So it looks like it's right by this gate right here. And, and then it looks like it ends right here. Either that or it's just all getting set up and it's a little bit too early. It's about 5.30 p.m. right now, I think, 6 o'clock maybe. This one looks a little bit... They just set this one up. So will this whole street be filled with them later? I don't know. Oh no, it's gonna start raining. Oh no. I think it's gonna rain a lot. Oh no. Okay, this might put a little damper on my plan. But we're gonna try to see how far down we can go. Plans in the ship. It's monsoon season, so. Yeah. That might be all we're gonna get to for a little while. I might be sitting here and drinking a Coca-Cola for a while. The rain is the way it's kind of coming across. I, I was here in Fukuo yesterday and just the way it rains, and actually this morning too, just like wow. So I, I don't know, this could go on for, it could go on for at least 20 minutes or longer. I am in, 
Okay, so we're gonna wait out this rain so we got something to drink and we're gonna hang out in this little space. And um, yeah, the rain's really coming in, coming in strong, so. The other thing you can see too is the streets are a little bit flooded. Especially these sidewalks, especially over there. So it looks like the rain, it's only, that would just went for about 10 minutes. I haven't even taken a drink of 7-Up yet, but it kind of came quick. The sun's coming out already, but it'll probably be gone by the time I start walking around after this drink. I'll let you know. So it wasn't even 15 minutes. Almost finished the Sprite, still drinking it though. The ice is still, hasn't even melted. And went to big strong rain, lots of flooding, and now it's just wet. And the way that it's so humid and hot, it'll probably, uh, but I get bit by like three mosquitoes and they gave me some mosquito repellent. Sheesh. Anyways. Now over here, it's desolate. So I guess the big draw was over there with the uh, gondolas, which makes sense. So here's a restaurant that says Sicily. Back there, there's one that said Naples. And I guess the big difference between this one and that one is that one was kind of built on the hills. And then you also had um, a beach. This one, I'm, I haven't seen everything, so I couldn't tell you yet. There's boxing right there. And then not only, I just mentioned a beach, and I'm pretty sure that's a beach right over there. So we're gonna walk over there right now. So yep, there's a beach. It's like stuff sticking out everywhere. I don't know what this is all about. Does that mean they just built it just a little while ago? It's like bricks. Looks like we can walk along that way. Take, tuk 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 buggy stop. I don't know, I wonder if those are free. I don't know. So I am seeing something called a free tour over here. So it looks like you could get around a little bit. Let me just see. So I guess we were at the there. Oh, and there's a lot more over there. Oh man, I didn't even know about that. So we're all the way over here. So later I'll see if I can get over here maybe and walk that. But it's good that we got here to the beach. Let's go check that out too. Okay, we made it to the beach. Sandbags everywhere. It's like an island out there too. Water looks a little bit rough. Looks like you can also go swimming here too, the swimming rules. So what I'm gonna do is just go over this way. And I guess this is where the main beach is at. Kind of cool. So that kind of helps me get a better picture of this whole area as well. So you actually do have a beach because all the way down, but it's the rainy season and it's. But look at all these beach umbrellas. It's probably pretty busy when it's not the rainy season. Looks pretty cool like that. Yeah, unfortunately I'm here in the rainy season. And if my understanding is right, these are like free shuttle buses that'll take you around this place. I do like that image like that. Super cool. So I'm kind of learning more. I guess Grand World has these little free shuttle buses that you can move around. That's good to know. And then also there's um, these big buses that go around the main spots of the island anyways, all the way to the airport and kind of the main town and through a little bit more than that. Not everywhere, but most of the stuff you want to go to. And that'll take you here as well. They're free. They go by every 15 minutes right from my hotel, which is about 20 kilometers away. That's the bus right there that I was talking about. It goes kind of throughout to here, to Grand World. 24-7 free bus. You can scan it and take a look and see. And it says 24-7. Yeah, it does go at, at, the, at nighttime too. 
I get it. Well, it says it does. But it sounds about right. So you could actually come out here. It's pretty smart, actually. So that's where I was at when it was raining. And all those little things up there. The buggy stop. But we're going to keep on going through. Dog. Look at him. But we're going to go all the way through and then um, get back to that gondola and then walk to the other side, which looks like it has more things over there, which I didn't realize. Well, this has the beach, so. Trò chơi, đây là một cuộc chiến với chính bản thân bạn. Khi bước chân vào đây, màn sương dày đặc sẽ trở. So that behind us was a haunted house. Looks like French style, and then you can see our pagoda stuff over there. So we're kind of back to our starting spot. So I'm going to walk along that, and then I guess that's exactly halfway that that bridge. That so I'll walk over there. Okay. Yep. So now I can see where this is kind of the centerpiece. The neon light sign. It's kind of inviting. Okay, so we're back at the bridge, and that's all going to be new territory on that side. So we're back at the bridge. Oh, these little shuttle buses. So they go from four to twelve. Free tour. Twenty-minute trip. I just walked it all. And I want to keep walking, anyways. So there are hotels here, Legacy Hotel. They kind of mixed in here as well. This is kind of cool. You got all these signs that are. There's a Bello House, another hotel, Chungdong Hotel. Kind of got a whole series of them. In the gondolas. More hotels. Coconut Hotel. Another bridge. View water show, don't worry, beer happy. <laughs> beer happy. Say bali bali kapshida. There's lots of Korean so I can hear them speaking in Korean. And they're kinda waiting for the other one to hurry, so. They say, Bali Bali Kapchida, hurry. Please hurry. I'm waiting for you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I like the colors of these homes, of these businesses. So we've got a giant Daiso, the Japan one. There's also this teddy bear museum. I bet that would be very, very popular in probably Vietnam as well. Definitely Korea, Japan, and other places. The teddy bear museum. So I'm gonna just keep on focusing. I can't believe they have a Daiso right there. I mean, I can believe it. It's just cool. that we can kind of capture. I think that's going to be the end of it, where that building is straight ahead. Pretty cool. Okay, so we're just kind of capturing all the beauty of it, but it looks like there's going to be stuff beyond that. And it feels like there's more tourists coming around this area too, so we'll see if that's actually true or not. But it is pretty colorful. That's the other thing I've noticed is there's a lot of Naples pizza references and a lot of the pizza is also like that looks like a New York style pizza right there that's sliced like that but Naples pizza isn't like that but I'm gonna guess it's probably more like Naples style which is one giant thin pizza one person can eat it by themselves even though it looks big. 
So it looks like the water taxi um, ends at this spot. And we're just gonna see what's on the other side here. Exploring an amazing grand world. So we were, we started out around this clock here and I walked around the lake like that. And then I walked, I think I walked to the middle here. And I basically walked all the way down to the beach. And then I um, came back, turned the camera off for most of that. And then we walked along this way. That's a teddy bear museum. And now we're right about here, right about here, I guess. And I don't see that particular gate unless that gate is this. But anyways, we're definitely gonna go over that way too because I see some giant statues that look pretty interesting and that big bamboo thing. Let's go check it all out. So it's, it's kind of interesting because they got all this bamboo in here. And I don't know what's on the other side, but I'm gonna guess it's... I love bamboo. It's such a beautiful plant. And then we have a temple. So, uh, something whole about Vietnam. And it looks like you have to, it's like a theme park actually. So you have to be so tall to get in here. Let's take a look. Uh. Actually, this one says free entrance from 2 to 6.30. So I might actually come over there. That might actually be a separate video. It looks pretty cool. Okay, this is about the learning journey, quintessential Vietnam. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. That'll be its own video. And I think this is gonna come to an end soon. There's some bamboo. I guess we'll have to walk through that. And I wanna check out those heads and statues over there too. So this is all bamboo in here. Huh. It's a one giant sculpture, I think. I think that's gonna be where people come in from the main road, I think. And then there's all this kind of cool stuff over here. I wanna check out all this artwork over here. It looks Pretty cool, like that. <laughs> Super cool. Bamboo structure. I think it's gonna be the end. I, I am definitely gonna go over there and film that spot over there. Looks like it's free entrance. But there's just like a lot of cool stuff in this park. So I'm just gonna highlight a couple of it and then we're gonna end the video. Oh, that one even has a slide to it, huh? Huh. Like a mother with baby and a slide. Some really artistic messaging there. Amazing. Kind of want to get over there and see that that show that's going on behind me. Anyway, it looks like there's um, more stuff in here for sure. Some small businesses over there, but I really want to see that. And I get, oh, it's for, kind of for kids. So I guess that one's definitely for kids, so slides. Okay, I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna go over there and then end it. It's kind of cool. There's kind of like a mother theme in it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this video for this whole grand world. And I'm gonna try to go into that one over there and check it all out. So that'll be my next Fuquo. And, uh, yeah. Pretty cool.